You've got your game idea, your art, and your assets, but you don't have a game without an engine, which is why we're here in Brighton, home to Unity 3D, a multi-platform game engine. I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Will. Welcome to Unity. Thank you. Um, so, this is our gaming area, as you can see. Um, Aurora's just playing a bit of Broforce. Hey, right nice. So, let's take you through and I'll show you the lens here. Okay. First things first, um, what is Unity then? So, Unity is a game engine. Um, a game engine is a piece of software that people use to make video games. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that can have all kinds of different, what we call libraries, that allow you to do different elements of a game, so it might be the graphics, the sound, um, scripting layer, all kinds of different things that allow you to eventually export a video game. Mm -hmm. um, in the example of something like Angry Birds, you might think, okay, well, um, what's the mechanic there? It's firing something. So we know that firing something's something that people like to do. Um, <laughs> knocking things down is interesting, so we'll, we'll plan you know, whether this feels fun, so people would prototype an idea. Okay, so how can I see Unity in action? Is there something we can create today? Yeah, sure. So I think the best way to show you how it works is to give you an example of something that you're familiar with, so like a game mechanic that mm -hmm. you've seen before. Okay. So what do you think? Well, you mentioned Angry Birds earlier, so why don't we take that? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so we're going to put you into the role of game designer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I'm going to give you a head start by drawing the main important part of Angry Birds. <laughs> this is the ground. Okay, and, yep. And what's this? That's the sky. Exactly. <laughs> so we need some clouds or something like that. Well, yeah, that would help yeah. straight the point. You're quite right. <laughs> and here's some background. Background birds. Yeah. Okay. So, what then goes into Angry Birds? Well, we have uh, the catapult on the left here, as everyone knows. And then generic structures over here to knock down. Mm -hmm. um, so how are we doing for copyright? Because I presume we probably can't really do birds and pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Unless we want to get into a lot of trouble. Maybe not. Um, so I was thinking, I do, I do have a bird in mind. So you know, Flappy Bird. Should I'm we, familiar should we, with the concept <laughs> of Flappy Bird. Should we get Flappy Bird over here? Yep. I can't quite draw him. <laughs> yeah. Never a true word. So. That's, that's great. <laughs> And what are you going to destroy Flappy Bird with? Um, I don't know, something like the moon? The, the moon. moon? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, or, some kind of meteorite, or a meteorite device. Yeah, so that's my moon. Yep. It looks like a moon. It looks like the moon. Um, yeah, so how do we get this moon, meteorite, yep. to smack Flappy Bird in the face? The main things that are involved in a game like this is physics. Mm -hmm. So um, from the catapult to holding your meteorite, you can add some what we call line renderers and attach them to your meteorite. Mm -hmm. And when you want to fire this object, uh, it's something called a rigid body. So everything that uses phys physics is a rigid body. Mm -hmm. So we'll attach a collider, a circular outline to that shape and a rectangular outline to all of these shapes. And they will detect when this object interacts with them. So by attaching a spring to this, we'll let the player pull that back and it will fling it over here and when it hits these things Unity has the physics engine already built in mm -hmm. and it's just going to handle all of that stuff. We've got that as an idea all sketched out. Mm -hmm. What's the next step to getting it uh, into the game? Um, so what we'd do is we'd go over to Pete over here who is a real artist. Hiya. Hello, I'm a real artist. <laughs> and he's going to help us take this sketch and he'll art it in Photoshop and then we'll get the real sprites and put them into Unity and try out making that game. Fantastic, well let's take a look at that. I think that's looking good. That's looking pretty good right there. Yep. Once Pete has done all the art assets, where does it go from there? Um, well, Pete will give me the art assets and then when we bring them into Unity, it's our choice to do whatever we want with them. Bits of code allow you to change the behaviour of those things during the game. Um, yeah, so let's let Pete do his thing and uh, then we'll put it straight into Unity. See? So, the artwork, as Pete's provided, is all here. Gotcha. So then what we can do 
is drag and drop our elements into the game to make it work. So the first thing is the sky, so I'll drag and drop that into the scene. Then what we're going to do is to drag our floor, so I can drag the floor tile in. Um, but to save time, what I've done is to make a floor made up of many of those. Now, this whole area, so I can show you this area here, is our entire play space. Gotcha. So we want our catapult over on the left and yep. our enemy on the right. Okay, so now we've got the circle collider on there. We'll be able to detect when that asteroid is colliding with other things. It's also going to make it collide automatically with other objects with colliders. So I'm not very good at playing this game. Why don't you, why don't you have a go? Okay, here we go. Bang. Ooh, didn't quite no. get him. Try again. I took the top off though. You can get him, you can get him. Okay. There yeah, we go. Yeah, exactly. Win. Like a bowling ball. That's looking good. Good work. So what you saw there was that, you know, everything that you needed to make that kind of game mechanic was kind of there for you in Unity. Okay, and so young game designers can use Unity to make a game if they want to. Yeah, definitely. So they can just pick it up from unity3d.com, there's the free version, they can grab that. They can go to unity3d.com slash learn, uh, follow all of our tutorials, we've got all kinds of different stuff that will help you learn all the different kind of bits of the engine so that whatever you kind of think of, you can go forward and then create yourself. Fantastic. I can't wait to see what they make. Cool, you too.